Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today we have got a post review on this beautiful flower canvas from Cat Eared and I'm going to do a kitting down as well. It was a great canvas because it came all in little baggies. So it was kitting up was like three seconds. <laughs> okay, so it was um, a poured glue canvas. So it was a dream to work on. I love poured glue. Uh, for me, poured glue is the way to go. Some people like the double-sided tape because it does on the whole tend to be more sticky, but I find that I like to slide my drills sometimes. I don't always get to, my drills quite in the right position, so I need to be able to move them. Um, and you can't really do that very well on double-sided tape. Once that double-sided tape has got your drills, it has them and it is not letting go. <laughs> Okay, uh, it's a true 30 by 30. I did do an unboxing of this ooh, way back, I think January, February time this year. So it's taken me a while to get round to it. Um, it has 32 colours and I think you'll agree that that picture is absolutely stunning. Through the lens, I can see that that black round the edges really makes this flower look really 3D and stand out. I, ju I just love it. There's three colours in the greens. While, while I was doing it, I thought, mm, it's quite dull, really, this. The flower's nice colours, but it's really dull around the edges. But now, seeing it completed, this lighter green has really highlighted those leaves and just given it such a 3D effect. I'm just, I think it's so pretty, and I, I just really do love this canvas. This one, I do think I'm going to frame. Um, if you know me, you'll know that I'm not really a floral kind of girl. I love real flowers. I love flowers. Um, but I tend to like cutesy and dogs and animals and more things like that. But this, I just think it's stunning. That I didn't even notice until I'd completed it, that little like mini flower, little stem in the middle there that just really raises up and stands out and all the different colours but I do think as well when you do in brighter colours it does make you smile <laughs> mind you it was nice quality drills um it's a nice canvas it's sort of a rough back to it but it's, it's a soft canvas it's not one of those really stiff canvases that don't move um and yeah it, it was just lovely to do really really enjoyed it definitely one of those canvases that I was happy when I'd finished, but quite sad that I'd finished it because I'd enjoyed doing it so much and the colours were brilliant. What I did with this one as well, which I've, I've started doing a little bit more now, is I did all the 310. I did the whole of the background first. So I sectioned it off and just worked my way around and did all of that. And then I worked the colours in the middle and I just really enjoyed it. Loved doing it. No popping drills all slotted into place wonderfully and yeah I didn't really have any issues with this say an odd little bit of trash nothing to speak of so yeah really really good canvas so thank you Katia I absolutely love this one it did come with uh, a little sheet as well with all your details on and uh, I actually photocopied this and put those onto my bags and um, even though the bags have got the DMC numbers on I still like to have the one two uh, well in this case 32 on them as well so I put them in number order which is also in this case the DMC number um, in my container now these little containers um, I got three for £1.49 from a store in the UK called uh, The Range. I've just had to, my brain went then, I couldn't think where it was. Um, and I thought they were quite good for holding the little baggies because they're just about wide enough for the bags. If you want into them to stand up a little bit more, then obviously you can put something at the back. But if you've got a bigger canvas that comes um, with already in the little zip seal bags, the little Ziploc bags, then uh, you know you've got plenty of room there this one came with a huge bag of 310 so as i say i did those first and then i just put those in the back to hold all the others in place so let's get on and get this one kitted down that will go into my log book i'll probably cut it down a little bit so that there's not quite so much paper um but that's a lovely picture of it as well i think you can see you know the picture actually doesn't do it just it's the colors are a lot more vibrant 
um, and stand out a lot more than they do on the picture. Okay, right, so I just pop that out of the way. I'm not going to put this um, into my folder, as I say, because I'm going to try and get a nice 30 by 30 frame for this. I'm not sure where it's going to go yet, but because of the colours, um, and because it's so vibrant, I think it'll probably go anywhere in our house. We seem to have gone a real grey theme at the minute. Um, the bedrooms have all got grey curtains and bedding. We've just really gone grey. <laughs> we used to be beige. <laughs> and now we're grey. <laughs> okay, so let's get our spare drill storage out and let's get these kitted down so this is box number one um, I've got details of where to get um, the videos and the details of this from Admore Zest Rebecca for kids at 147 it's her idea and I have just followed along with it um, I know a lot of people have now and I've tried different ones and this is just the best one I've ever come across so why try and improve on something that's so good so i just carry on using this okay so our first number let's have a look oh let me get a tray just in case i spill you know what i'm like okay so 154 and the round oh that can't be right oh yes it can i'm looking at the purple behind it dollars so make sure i'm putting them in round shouts if you see me putting them in squares I think last time I did a kitten down, I put them in squares. I muddled them up, or did I put squares in rounds? I can't remember, but I must stop doing that and think about what I'm doing a bit more. It's when I get talking. It's because we don't see many people with having the lockdown. <laughs> I've got used to talking to myself. <laughs> okay. So I'll just take those little numbers off. I don't think they're going to come off in a big hurry. No, but these are very nice. A little bit larger and good thick quality zip seal bags. So I'm actually going to keep those. So I'll pop that on one side. So the next number is 208. So let's find 208. Oh dear, it's going to be one of those days. Uh, yeah, it's very, very hot in the UK today. And uh, I'm not sure how long, lots of different colours in that one look. But again, if you just put them the same number in the same bag, um, if you do need some, you can always pick out the closest colour to whatever you need when you're working on it. But, uh, and I have done that. I've uh, run out of drills a few times recently. So it's just been one of those things. Um, but because I've got my spares, I could still complete my canvases. And the other one, then the company just sent me the drills, so that was fine. Okay, let's have a look. 209 is the next one. So lots of colour families in this one. Oh, there's lots of different colours in that one as well. Get these put away. And these bags are getting quite uh, full, some of them, particularly the most popular colours. But doing this, as I say, I normally do sort of animals and cutesy, so I don't tend to get a huge amount of bright colours. But I did find doing a bright coloured one really, really well, lifted my mood, shall we say. Two, ten looks, so that's three colours in this colour family, all running into one another to get your shading, which is brilliant. So well done, Katia, does they've charted this one. It came out really well with all these lovely colours. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have to start trying to do a few more brighter coloured canvases. Um, I've done my rainbow uh, Scotty, if you look for that in the link. That was nice to do. That was all bright colours. And three or four. And at the moment, I've what am I doing? I've got a, a Scotty picture to do, and that's a lot of browns and blues and... 939s and things it's amazing you do a black dog the different colors that actually go into it uh, but again all quite dull apart from it's got a red collar on so the red was quite nice to do with a few pinks for shading um but yeah and then another one i've got is uh, a Maisie one uh, sorry a millie one oh dear that's because i've been thinking about Maisie today that was our previous little scotty dog uh, three two seven uh, she's sadly over the Rainbow Bridge now, but I've done a few pictures of her recently. And uh, 
yeah they, they all tend to be sort of the darker colours so I need to do some brighter ones I'll have to have a look through my stash and I've got a wonderful one that one of my friends got me at Christmas and it's three giraffes with their sunglasses on and that's got quite a few nice colours in it so that one will be a good one to do and it really made me laugh when I opened it because the giraffes expressions are just awesome it's really really funny the way that they just stood there with these sunglasses on like cool dudes <laughs> okay that's three four nine a lovely bright red color you wouldn't think that this picture actually had red in it but uh, yeah it's amazing what highlights and what colors are actually picked out and that things are being done so that's three four nine um, that one's put that in front of the square. I try to keep. Oh, look, I put it in the wrong place now. I try to keep the rounded front of the squares. I do tend to do more round pictures than square pictures. Although at the moment, some of the pictures I've done, I do prefer the square ones that I've done. So I am, well, I'm struggling on. It's maybe a strong word. I'm carrying on with them. Um, the one I'm doing at the moment is a square. Unfortunately, though, it is on double-sided tape, so it's sort of a square on a double-sided tape is really my least favourite to do, but it's a lovely picture, so I'm, I'm okay doing it. And it's nice to vary it up a bit, and uh, then when I've done it, I'll maybe do one of my wreaths or something like that in between, just something quick, um, just so that I don't feel as though I'm just slogging along and not getting anywhere. Okay, and this was a very, very dark green colour. Let's just say it looked really dull while I was doing it. And then once it's on, it just gives that gradient to the leaves. Is it variegation leaves? Yeah, variegation on the leaves, we'll say. Come out with the dictionary words today. <laughs> okay, and 550. So I hope everybody's doing okay in this heat. Um, I know there's been some floods across Europe and there's been some very hot weather in America and Canada. So I hope if you're anywhere near those places or in those places that you are staying safe. Um, it is very, very difficult sometimes. My uh, youngest granddaughter, I think is going to be an eco warrior. She's very much into saving the planet. 700, do we go up to 700 in here? No, nope, we only go up to 699, so we want box number two. Okay. Right, let's just put box number one back. Try and keep things in order. Okay, and we'll get box number two. Which again is organised in the same way. I've basically got um, a thick... A very good quality thick uh, zip little bag in uh, there and I have a square and a round just in case you've not seen these before so any spare uh, round ones go in there any spare square ones go in there the stickers are from um, Admo Zest Rebecca for kids at 147 so it's admozest.com and they're very reasonably priced to get the full set of 444 DMC stickers and then I downloaded the numbers to put on the little index cards uh, from for, uh, Admo Zest and they were free. You can buy them um, either already printed or already printed and cut from the shop as well. So, yeah, thank you, Rebecca. These are excellent and it's brilliant of you to share. Um, and now she does have a little shop and she does trays and all sorts. So go and check her out. She's uh, been a big inspiration to me. Lovely lady. And does some great videos on YouTube as well if you want to check her out. Uh, I think at the moment she's still four kids at 147 on there, but she has got a new channel as well at More Zest. Right, so 701. So say they tend to on these, they've used um, colours next to one another, so it's the same colour families, so that you do get the better blending and gradient on these which just makes that extra little bit of difference. And we're up to number 13, so we've still got quite a few to go. Okay, 718. So who do you watch on uh, YouTube? Who's your favourites? If you let me know in the comments, um, and I can maybe go and check some 
new people out as well. I do like uh, checking through. I always uh, try and check out the recommendations as well that YouTube gives me. It's always nice to see somebody else's perspective, as it were, on diamond painting. I think we all have something to contribute. We all do things the same, but in our own way. So it makes it just that little bit different. And um, seven to eight. Okay. Oh dear. I'm not going to these straight away today. Um, oh, still got a little baggy in there. Look, let's. Uh, Gosh, they're very different, look. That's a very bright yellow and that one. Well, all on the camera, they do look quite similar. Let me just uh, cut that little baggie open. Let's find my scissors. I get rid of the little bags. Um, I did used to keep them all in the little bags if they were in bags, but I'm finding that they take up too much room now. So I am ha <laughs> I am having, I am having to uh, try and make a little bit more room. Oh, and I've moved my bin miles away. <laughs> oh dear. Try not to throw things on the floor. So yeah, I mean, I, I think with that diamond painting, there are a lot of new creators out there. There's a lot of people started uh, YouTube channels that, do you know, I can't speak today. What on earth is wrong with my brain and my mouth? are just not working together. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> try again, take two. <laughs> Uh, there are a lot of YouTube, new YouTube uh, creators out there, um, diamond painting creators. But I think there's room for everybody. We've all got something to contribute. And as I say, we all have a slightly different take on it. And to be honest, I think the more videos there are, the more creators there are, uh, the more followers you're likely to get. Because, you know, somebody else might bring followers um two channels two diamond painting channels that you would never have come across so it, it spreads the love it you know th there's there can never be too many it doesn't dilute it down it just gets word out there and um, that diamond painting is fun and how great diamond painting is and the more people that are diamond painting the more likely they are to come across your channel well that's my take on it anyway do you agree if you don't sorry but if you do you know let me know your thoughts in the comments um you know I, they are just my ramblings my thoughts uh years ago i did used to do um direct selling i used to sell tupperware would you believe here in the uk in the 1980s and early 90s that was a long time ago but it was great fun um for one week, one week only, I did get into the top 10 in the country. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, I went to a conference and there was uh, 1,500 Tupperware sellers all sat in this great big hall with this big screen and this display and everything. This, obviously, this is before, you know, internet and computers and phones and everything like that. We didn't have mobile phones in those days. And, oh, listen to me, I sound about 100. <laughs> there's all these women raving over this new plastic jug that's come out and at one point you just sort of get a reality check and you sit there and you think yep there's uh, 1500 women in this hall and they're all clapping a bit of plastic <laughs> <laughs> sorry polypropylene we had to give it its correct name and we went allowed to say that Tupperware was plastic but it was great fun as I say, we always used to say that, you know, if you recruited somebody else um, to sell Tupperware, you used to get a prize for doing it, which was great. I furnished my house. I had um, rocking chairs and mirrors and all sorts of things. Uh, did I get a beanbag? I've got a beanbag. I've got all sorts of prizes and things. Um, yeah. And, I, I, you know, they used to say that, you know, recruiting somebody, they're not taking customers away from you. They're bringing more customers to the Tupperware community. They're bringing more people in. So they're more likely to come across you and know the name Tupperware. Albeit, I do think everybody knows the name Tupperware now. It's sad that there's no Tupperware in this country anymore. Um, I do still have a lot. Well, I did have to get rid of quite a lot as well. Goodness me. I had tons, but I used it all. Um, I still use my multi cooker for all my pasta and rice. Um, I still use my strainer for uh, 
Oh, all my straining. It's like a double-sided big one. It's great for strawberries, for washing strawberries and uh, straining them out. Um, I still use food containers for the fridge and the freezer. You know, cereal boxes. Oh, gosh, there's lots and lots of Tupperware that I still use. Um, but, yeah, I have had to downsize a little bit over the years. But it was great fun while it lasted. Um, I've done lots of other party plan things as well. I did have my own business for a while. I was busy Lizzie. And I used to, uh, yeah, run my own little party plan business. Going around to people's houses. But that's, as I say, hey, ho, oh, that is a long time ago. Um, I've not really done much since I've been with uh, my hubby. Yeah. It was a great way of making friends and having a bit of fun. I don't suppose uh, there's much going on with party plan now with lockdown. It must have just about killed the trade off, unfortunately. Yeah, I've certainly seen some things and seen in some people's houses. It's great as well to nosy in people's houses. Oh, I was dreadful. Uh, yeah, there was one lady and she had this absolutely fantastic house. And I shouldn't really be saying this, should I? I sound like a stalker. But I'd always wanted to see inside it because it was just really... It was one of those like 1960s built houses where there's different shapes and things and I'd always wanted to look inside it so I was determined I wanted her to have a party so that I could have a look inside the house. <laughs> oh dear. I did tell her though in the end um, when I went to do the uh, party and I got there I said you know I love your house and I really really wanted you to book a party so I could come inside and have a look round and she just laughed she thought it was really funny. And she did give me a guided tour. Oh, and it was a fantastic house. It's one of those places that, you know, if you win the lottery, you're going to move in there. But, yeah, that was really good fun. Happy times. Do you know, I don't even know if I could do it now. Um, I know it would be definitely hard work. I mean, there's so many different alternatives now. We've got the cheaper shops. We've got the, like, Aldi and Lidl that sell you know, middle aisle stuff that's really cheap. We've got Amazon that sells stuff really cheap. So to actually be in direct sales and selling things that are that little bit pricier, I don't know whether uh, you would still do quite so well. Albeit when the wine was flowing, you did seem to do better sales. <laughs> oh dear. All right, we're getting through these. We're up to uh, drill number 26. Still in box number two, so I'm keeping these baggy, baggies because they are a nice, uh, good quality one. And I will reuse them as I'm going along. And I think we now need to go into box number three. We do. So let's put box number two away and let's get box number three. Whew, gosh, it's warm in here. So unfortunately, I have to keep the door shut because uh, I hope he has the TV on downstairs and we don't want any copyright strikes. Although he was listening to some strange 60s music the other night. And he said, oh, I love this. Have you heard of this one? And I'm like, no, I haven't. Who's that? Goodness me. Old before his time. I think it's just as... What am I looking for? Three, six. Three, six. God, I'm looking at three years. Oh, what am I looking for? Three, six, three, six, three, six, three, six. 3608, 3607. Oh, dear me. That's it. 3607. Heavens above. The threes always seem to confuse me. I don't know what it is with having the four numbers. The three numbers, no problem whatsoever. But four numbers just seem to fox me. And it's ridiculous. It's only an extra number. But three O's, three sixes, three eights, it just baffles me. Right, now I want a 3721. 37321. Just make sure they're square. These are starting to slip a little bit. I think I might have to go through these boxes and just rearrange them and buff them up to something. Maybe put some extra bits of uh, card or something in just to stop them from slipping a little bit yeah, some of them are a bit loose and some of them are too tightly packed in so I think I'm going to have to do a bit of arranging but I can do that another day and it's not as hot in here 
and then I'm not wanting to go and diamond paint. 29, I must admit when it is hot, um, if you can just get 3819, if you can just get into a coolish place, you just sat still diamond painting with a nice cool drink, it's lovely. And you don't have to move about and do stuff. Uh, I can't imagine I'm going to be cooking tonight. It's just too hot to have the cooker on in the uh, kitchen. It'll just be a quick tea of whatever we've got in the cupboard. Okay, that's three, eight, one, nine. I don't know why I'm taking these little stickers off because there's a great big number on the front of them, but never mind. Force of habit, three, eight, three, seven. They all have to be in this last one, apart from the three tens. As I say, I do have a big bag of round three tens. So I think what I'm going to do once I've got enough three tens, I've got um, an old black and white whiskey bottle. It's uh, a brand called Black and White and it has a Scotty Dog and a Westie on it. Oh, I should have kept that stood up, shouldn't I? Um, and I'm going to fill that with black and black and white what are you doing Liz black and white drills that I've got spare so that it's like stripe going up black and white uh, and possibly put some little lights in it or something just to make it as a decoration uh, I'm not a whiskey drinker I, I gave it to my dad because uh, he likes whiskey but I, I told him he could only have it on the premise that he gave me the bottle back <laughs> uh, yeah that was uh, my black and white whiskey bottle goes with my uh, Scotty Dog collection. We did used to have a Westie as well, a little West Island White Terrier. Uh, I think I've mentioned him before, our little Harvey. He was lovely. He was a very crumpy little old man, though. And uh, we sadly lost him quite a long time ago now. But, uh, yeah, I still think about him. He was, he was gorgeous. So anything with Scotties and Westies. Uh, it's mainly a Scotty collection I have these days, but uh, yeah, I do have little bits of Westie as well that people have bought me. I like to keep things that people have bought me because they're special memories. Oh, this one looks much good. Okay, and we're down to 310. As I say, I'm not going to put that one in because I've got a big bag to put that in. Okay, so that's my container. I'll just measure that for you. It is... Uh, what's that? 10 inches, which is 26 centimetres long by 9 centimetres, which is three and a half inches wide. So, oh, I've got a few drills in the bottom there. Get rid of those. So, yeah, and it's like squashy plastic. So if you drop it, it's not going to crack or anything. But, yeah, I just thought this was ideal for putting baggies in and a set of three for £1.49. That was brilliant. That's the um, label if you're wanting to. Uh, have a look, see if you can find that anywhere. It's an iDoodle Essentials multi purpose long tray three pack. Okay, so that's that. So that's box number three that we can put away. Okay, pop that back on the shelf. We'll put the bags back in here, put the trays out of the way. So let's find that's one of my bigger bags. So I've got a and that one can go under there. Uh, oh yeah, and I'll put these bags with them being like a set and all the same. I'm going to put these into this bag here. Not that I've got a lot of bags, you understand, but you know, I sat and sorted them out. Like, how sad is that sitting and sorting out all your plastic bags? These are the ones I'm using. These all were what I had um, in my storage where I used to put the little card. Um, in to stop the drills uh, slipping down but now I've got the better quality ones I don't use these in my drill storage but I am using them for my special drills I don't want to waste them so that's those so that's the bags put away pop that back on the shelf get rid of all these stickers I've got stuck to my desk oh come here right so and as I say, I'm not going to uh, do any more with this. Oops, I'll put it the right way around, Liz, so you can read it at the moment because I am going to get a frame for it and I'll let you see it when I get it framed. So, yeah, that's my uh, 
coloured floral, bright floral it may have been called, uh, from Catiard. All kitted down, all completed. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing this one. If you have, if you press that like button, then uh, it just helps me out with YouTube. And if you want to see more completions and unboxings, then if you press the subscribe button down here, you'll be notified uh, when my next video comes up. Thanks for stopping by. See you all again soon. Bye.